Hi, I'm Mark, Training Manager at Vera Control, and welcome to my Vera Connected Smart Home. Today, we're going to be talking about modes. In User Interface, or UI7, we've made modes more powerful and easy to use. What modes do is allow you to pre-configure all of the devices in your house around the four different modes that we have in User Interface 7. First one is Home. We have a way mode for when you're at work or just plain old out of the house. Night mode, one of my favorite modes. Vacation mode, another one of my favorites. So to configure our modes, the first thing we have to do is scroll over and click on the arrow by my modes. So we have our four modes across the screen, home, away, night, and vacation. Now all of our modes are set to default until we make changes to any of the settings. I'm gonna set home to custom because I've already made custom settings for my home mode. But you can see the first thing that we configure are how we want our sensors to be armed for each mode. So when I'm in home mode, I have them all bypassed. But when I'm away, I want them all armed, my door and window and my motion sensors. And I'm going to show you later how we can notify uh, each individual user if any of these sensors are tripped. In night mode, I don't want my two motion sensors armed because if somebody is moving around the house, I don't want that to trigger a security or notification event. And then in vacation mode, again, I want to have them all armed. If anybody opens a door or anything moves in my house, I want to get a notification. What to do if a sensor trips with my cameras? I can have them record or I can have them set to off. So when I'm in home mode, I'm going to have them set to off. Who gets notifications? Well, you know what? My wife really doesn't want to be bothered with this stuff. I'm the one that works for Vera Control. I'm the one that manages the system. So I have them set to know across the board for her. In home mode, I don't want to get notifications. In night mode, I don't want to get notifications. But in vacation mode, I do. Then the last thing that we do is we set up each individual device and how we want that device to act in each mode. And it's really just as simple as going to the drop down menu and selecting how we want it to be. And we can also manage these through scenes if we don't want it to change always with a mode. And that's how you configure modes. Very simple, but very high level control at the press of one button. In upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to add devices to your Vera control system. Again, it's very simple. I'll walk you through the process. We'll also do a video on setting up a scene. And I'll show you the power of a scene and the additional levels of control that you get from that. Now, if there's something that you'd like to see me cover in any of these videos, email me, training at getvira.com. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy your Vera-controlled smart home.